Lights, camera, action. More movie productions are coming to North Carolina. Yeah, Governor Roy Cooper made a stop in Wilmington today where a film studio unveiled a new project, but it's not uh, the, or just the coast. Coast is actually catching the business as well. I'm sure Manning will say this better than I just did. Uh, WFMY News 2's <laughs> Manning Frank reports companies all across North Carolina are looking as well. We knew it. Film is more than just the big studios we know, like Disney, Netflix, or Universal. There are numerous smaller production houses across the state. I spoke with three local production companies to see how they see the current state of North Carolina filmmaking. Today is two years in the making. At a groundbreaking near the coast of Wilmington, NC, production company Dark Horse Studios is doubling in size. We have two stages, stage one and two right now, totaling around 42, 43,000 square feet. Uh, we're now adding on stage three and four, which is another little bit over 40,000 square feet. So you know, our goal is to host a multiple of whether it's feature films or TV or streaming or even local productions. Filmmaking in North Carolina has seen a recent resurgence and not just for the big studios, for the local independent production houses as well. We want to put North Carolina on the map and be a big part of creating that cycle. For Honeyhead Films, a female-led North Carolina-based company, they have been making films as a team since 2016 and they've seen a steady increase in local and national interest. So we've gone to be on the roller coaster ride, you know, as things have come back to North Carolina, as we've had banner years for film in the state, and we've gotten to be boots on the ground here for that and see the way that it benefits the entire community. For Raleigh Durham based EBZB Productions first feature, The Problem of a Hero, it was an easy decision to stay local. Cast and crew, writers, uh, cinematographers, editors, direct, I mean, you name it, we have a wealth of that here in North Carolina. We do, most, if not all, of our team uh, for this feature film, the problem of the hero was uh, uh, gleaned from North Carolina talent. With both local studios in the process of releasing their own North Carolina-based films, soon independent filmmaking in the state will rise like the tide. I'm Manning Franks, WFMY News 2.